Hi, I'm Joshua Schnitzer, a pre-sales engineer at Sysa Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you routing rules. We're going to log into the Sysa. Since routing rules are part of the service desk, we're going to go to service desk settings. So we're going to click up here and go to service desk. and then service desk settings. Now we're going to routing rules. Routing rules are used to make tickets move automatically to particular administrators or admin groups based on different variables within the ticket. It can be the SLA agreement, the company, the user group, or the category. It can be a combination of all of these or just one particular uh, variable. In this particular example, I have routing rules already set up. Routing rules work from bottom to top. What that means is if a ticket set has variables that satisfy a routing rule at the bottom, it will route automatically and then it will not continue up the list. In this case, we have a we have a routing rule down here that says a ticket with the West Coast SLA agreement coming from a user in the user group of HR will automatically go to sys admin. The next up the list is a ticket with the West Coast SLA agreement but any company, any user group, or any category it will go to Joseph. What this means is that the HR departments will automatically route but then any other ticket coming from the West Coast agreement will go to Joseph. If these were reversed, where the West Coast agreement was below this one and everything else was all, 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 the ticket would automatically route to Joseph and would never go further up the list to, the HR, to have a user group of HR department and the ticket would never get routed to the sys admin. For this reason, it's very important to have the list, the order of the list of your routing rules uh, properly laid out. So if, if you discover that your order is, is messed up, that certain tickets are not routing because there's a routing rule below another rule that satisfies certain variables, you can change the routing rules by pressing the edit button here. When you press the edit button here, that particular line becomes, becomes active and you can change the rules. And when you're done, you can press save. To add a new routing rule, you go to the top here and you just choose the, the agreement, the company, the user group, and the category that you want for this particular rule. The more specific routing rules should be at the lower part of the list and the, the more general rules should be higher up. Just so the tick, the, the rule, the, uh, when SysAid reads the rules, it'll go through the list and eventually hit the, the rule that's appropriate. So in this case, let's make a really specific routing rule. I'm going to say that it that a ticket that has any agreement from any company or any user group but has a category of computer and laptop. So in this case, any ticket that has an agreement from any SLA agreement, any category company, any user group, but has a category of the of a computer laptop it will get routed to Noah Kaufman. Let's save this rule. Here's the new routing rule. So, what happens is here, if, if a ticket does not come from a, does not have an SLA agreement of West Coast, and does not have a, a is not from a company uh, of company one, but it has a category of computer laptop. It will go to Noah Kaufman. If it did not have an SLA agreement of West Coast or a company of com uh, or a company of company one, but it had agreement of computer, but not laptop computer and anything else 
it will then pass this particular routing rule and go higher up the list and go to computer and then it gets routed to me. That's it for routing rules. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email us at sales.com. Thank you.